process were becoming very, very profitable. Now, before I get into what the signals are and the guidelines are and all that kind of good stuff, um, where they're at and all that, um, you must know that our daily signals use a range in comparison to look like this, right? And this is about a 20 pip range, in some cases 25, 30 pips between here and here. Okay? When the signal comes out, you usually got about 10, 15 pips, 20 pips, depending on the pair itself. Okay? So if it looks like this, so when it gets, so when the price gets to a certain trigger, it triggers a call or a put or what have you. Okay? Our intraday signals look like this. Okay? So they have a smaller range. They usually have a 5 to 15 pip range. So when they come out, the, uh, the, the range is at a trigger, so it triggers out a, a signal for one way or another. Our new 2020s, they look like this. Not a lot of money, medium amount of money, tremendous amount of money. You understand? The amount of the range in between the range and how close when the signal comes out and being able to deliver a signal that will have money on the contract is, of course, one of the most important things of the company's success. And some of you that were here that have left or have come back or what have you, some of you without even looking at signals or wanting to strike or wanting to choke up or to scalp or learning the other processes, this was one of your biggest beefs is that when you get to the dailies, there's usually not a lot of money on them or none at all, or you have to choke up to get them, or you have to chase the money. And that's completely acceptable. I can completely understand and agree with you. These required a lot more work to do than our now 2020 trades. And how powerful is this algorithm that works here? Well, one of our trades up until this morning had 100% over 100 trades. It's at 98% right now. Something like that, 98 point something. It's huge. Audio USD. Excuse me, I had to get some coffee. It's been a, been a long day. Now, the understanding here is, is that as our indicator in our system spits out our, do we get as many signals as some of the intraday and the dailies? No, not actually. But we still get quite a bit. And when they come out, they're very profitable. And if you can get consistent and follow the rules and follow the process, this is where you're going to make your money. This is where the cars and the vacation homes and all that stuff that everybody promises you might become a reality for you. Like Mike and I were joking in the probe trader room here just a minute ago. Somebody said, this is the first time I feel like I can get to that point. And I agree with them. This is the first time that I can actually say that there's a possibility that you could get to that superstar income process. I can't promise you it. But I can tell you that you could get to it, but it's going to take some work. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> I put the wrong graphic in there. <laughs> wrong. It's not going to take work. That's right. You still have some work to do. I'm just kidding. I really didn't make it very simple. Okay? <laughs> it is very, very simple. In fact, it's so simple that the guidelines, there's only three of them. Okay? There's only three major guidelines to the entire process. Do not trade a pair that is lower than 90%. And I'll show you what that means in here in just a second. Just one second. Let me get over there right now. All right. Let's go over to the Pro Trader room. Here's the Pro Trader uh, signals page. Okay. Here's the 2020. You see, here's the dailies. Still doing really, really good. Here's the 2020. Okay. I got some of the rules on here right now that you'll see. Definitely, first off, trade and demo, okay? That shouldn't even be a guideline, right? That should be like when you're testing this stuff out, when you're testing to get new signals, you should be trading nothing but demo until you get it 100% correct, all right? Our first process is that don't trade anything under 90%, okay? We have two pairs that are under 90% right now. That's British Full Pound JPY and the Euro JPY, all right? That's all. Just those two. Just expand it out to 100. You'll quickly see that everything else is over 90%. USD CAD is just over 90%, so you got to keep an eye on that one too. Okay? 
And just like anything else, you're not going to load up a bunch of pairs, a bunch of trades all in one session. Okay, if four, if four signal, if three signals come out, you're not going to get in and get every single one of them. Don't be silly. Get in, get one that's good, get some good money on it, load up on the contracts evenly. Okay, this is the first time I'm going to tell you that trade your risk balance on one trade. It's okay. Okay, stay with the ones that have higher success rates over 90 and that are over there strong. Okay, using a 92 and a 93 on the Euro British Gold Pound, you know, the first set of assets that you'll see out there, which I'll show you here in a minute, the, the main ones, the ones that trade all day on the intradays on, on Nadex, those are your strongest ones, except for the Euro JPY. Okay, Audi USD is your strongest one. In most cases, you're going to get about, uh, let me see, one or two really good US Audi USDs. Let's see if I can. Well, there was one loss. But again, and what I'm going to show you here on the pip range here too, this one actually would have won if you've gotten it right on, on Nadex because it was at 73.34 on Nadex for the sell. Okay? 73.35, I think it was, for, for this particular one that I checked. And so you still would have, you still would have won at that point because it was such a small margin there. Okay. Now, on the Audis, there is such a high, such a high rate of success here that you could sit and wait all day long for an Audi. And if you get it on the sell or the buy, pretty much you're winning it. Okay. And that's where it's setting the work order and all that kind of stuff we'll talk about here in a second. But you can see on the win ratio, very easy to find what the win ratio is. All right, so don't trade anything under 90%. Next. When choosing the strike on Nadex, choose the strike given or one that is further outwards, meaning that if a, a strike comes over at 128.80, okay, and it's for a sell, which means that you're going to be going that you're, the price is going to be dropping, okay? And you have a choice on the network at 128.81 or 128.77. You choose the one that's further out, okay? Because you're going down. You're choosing one that's further out. It was If it was for a buy, you'd be choosing the one that was further out, you see, for the buy. Further out. Not into the money, but out of the money. Not completely out of but further out. How do you say this without being confusing? Further out of the money. Further in the money means that you're chasing it inwards. You're choking up. And further out means you're choking out. You're, 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 you're bringing your strike a little, a little higher on a sell and a little lower on a buy. Okay? And the reason why you're doing this, there's two, there's two things. One, on a sell, the indicative price on Nadex, okay, on Nadex, they use the indicative, which usually one and a half to two pips difference than what it is on the uh, vanilla market, okay, the spot Forex. So it's always a couple pips difference. And the reason being is that they take the middle, they take the 25 last prices, and they, they take the middle 15 average, average it out, and that's their price. So on a sell, it usually has a little bit of an issue, okay, because it's usually a couple pips off on a buy, you got it all day long. Okay. On a buy, it's very, very strong. Okay, because so if you get a good pair that is doing nothing but winning on the buy, then holy crap, that's what you should be using. Right? And how do you figure that one out? Simply enough, go to the spreadsheet, isolate the one pair that you want to use, and simply click on asset or simply click on direction, sorry. Keeping the USD in the box, these are all the sells. These are all the buys. Looks like every single buy that has ever been done on the USD JPY has won <laughs> in this one although over the last however many trades this is. It calculates it out to the, hun the hundreds. Okay. So is that powerful? Is that powerful to, to know? Yes, it is. Because you could do that with every single one. If you don't have one that has a close, well, here in this one, the 
probably quite a few more. The sells and the buys have won. <laughs> but again, it's calculating a high rate of success. We don't keep every single trade that we've ever done on this spreadsheet because this database is secure. If it gets too big, it becomes weak. So we, we tail this information out, and I do have data for some of you later on. Okay. So now that you have that kind of concept in your head, to make sure that on Nadex, you're padding yourself just a little bit to give yourself some room, okay? If you can do it. Now, what happens if you get there and there's not a strike available? Maybe it has moved five. Remember, on the intradays, moving eight pips out of direction or in that direction, you might be missing out, right? But it's such a high win rate. Don't put a working order on every single one that comes out. If there's three in one session, don't put all three out as working orders. Could you? Yes, but you're taking the gamble at that point. What I'm about to tell you about bullseyes, okay, which we'll talk about here in a second, and working orders, you're going to have to take at your own discretion. We talked that uh, when a sell signal is traded, make sure you add at least two pips to the strike to compensate for the indicative index variation on Nadex. Okay. Lastly, working orders. We suggest placing working orders on some of the pairs that have a high rate of success or more. So 92% or more, I would say put a working order on. If that working order fills, you have the choice whether either to get a, you know, put it for just one contract or however many your risk management is, okay? But you're going to have to add that in. Okay, if you get one that has like a 95% success or you got two of them that have 95 or above or 98 and above, then it's up to you whether or not you're going to put those working orders on. For me personally, I because I'm at my computer, you might be at work, so you might not have a lot of time. You might just be coming in, setting a working order, putting in, taking it. You're not even looking at direction verification. You don't need to do any of that at that point. If you do, if you sit and watch it, you're going to be like Paul Davey, who saved himself on one of the losses last night on that Audi USD. He still made money because he noticed the variable because he watches his chart. He's very chart savvy. He's a scalper, and he's been through the Trader's Mind series, so he knows how to spot when the price starts to unfold itself. And he was able to get out, still making a profit of about $14, $15, where he would have, if he would have allowed it to go to expire, would have lost at that point. And he still made money. But, again, everything has gamble. Everything has loss. Everything is a, has a success rate. So if you choose to trade at work or trade at a time that may not be sufficient for you to be sitting in front of a computer, completely understandable. But deal with the consequence of loss. You might get a little bit more loss where you have to build back and it might take you slower and slower. Okay? But the idea here is, is don't get greedy. Be very patient. Put, get the trades you can get and work with what you have. That's what it comes, it comes, everything comes back to there. Using the bullseye working order in that preference, stay between $20 and $30. Don't be putting $10, you know, working orders in. You know, stay with the profit margin of $20 to $30. This is what's going to really make it for you. The average, when we were testing out and testing last week, the average contract price that I was physically getting was $34 average. Sick, isn't it? $34 average per contract profit. And if you're patient enough, if, you're, if you can follow the rules enough, yeah, you want to be that sick. It is. Thank you all and hope you trade well.